Hey friends and resellers, it's Trish with Well Sourced coming at you with a Goodwill Outlet Bins haul video. This was from last week where I went to the Goodwill Outlet in Middle Tennessee down in Nashville, one of the locations down there where I pay $1.49 a pound and I picked up, I want to say 90 something pounds worth of clothing items. I will put that on the screen and my total amount spent, I can't quite remember. And this day I only went through, I went down later in the morning because we had had sort of an ice storm weather front that moved in and went down later in the morning and then came back at my normal time. So it was definitely a little less time than I would normally spend there, but I picked up almost the same amount of pounds of clothing and brought them home, processed them. And this is the first half. I'll go through the second half on the next video, just because I get sick of listening to myself after about 30 seconds. So I imagine it's about the same for you. Um, so this I'm gonna do about half and the next one will be the other half with a few shoes that I got that day. So first up is this Columbia hat. It is a unisex hat with um, a little pom-pom on the top. It's a kind of blue slate color and white, super cute. It's one size and it has the, heat. I don't know what the brand um, Columbia calls their heat shield heat um, liner. Let's see. Does it say? It does not say. Anyway, I have a pair of leggings that have this material on the inside and they are extremely warm. So, you know, is this going to bring me a million dollars? No, but will it sell? And is it cute? Yes. Could I possibly keep it for myself? Yes but I own a lot of hats. So, um, I have said it before that I do not always check comps when I'm at the bins. However, there were a few brands that I did check before I came home. I did try to double check for flaws and all of that fun stuff this time, just so I didn't come home with a bunch of stuff that had holes or stains or was worth $0. Okay. So this is the brand Parkhurst. Um, I did not look this up. It was in the accessories bin. It's faux fur and it was made in Canada. So to me, that was maybe something that was um, worth bringing home. It's just a faux fur hat. And as always, I'll put comps on the screen along the way about what these comp out for. My goal with what such a low cost of goods that I'm getting at the bins is, you know, if I can bring $10 net profit um, after fees, that's great. If it's a little less than that, that's fine too. Okay, this I did not check uh, comps for either, but the brand is called Betmar New York. Betmar. And this is a acrylic polyester with a little bit of wool hat. It is a green um, kind of marled color, like knit in there. Has a little design floral here on the side. It gives me like 90s Y2K look to it, kind of like Blossom, remember the show Blossom, um, in that time frame. And honestly, the comps were not horrible on that. Now, this is a brand that I've never picked up. I think I've seen it a few times. It's Kate and Mallory. Um, I did not, I would probably not have picked this up as a no-name brand in a um, standard size of like extra small through extra large or large, but this is an extended size of 3X and I just thought it was a really cute jacket. It's a pale pink jacket and it kind of cropped with, it's a denim flare to it and it has this lace on the back and a peplum hem. Um, and so as I've, I've said it before in other videos that Plus size clothing is not as abundant on the resale market um, from my experience. And so it does tend to sell better for me if it's maybe not as a more of a no name brand. It still can be sold on style in a plus size. So I did pick this up and I just thought it was a very cute jacket. Um, perfect for spring upcoming. Okay. This is a bag that has maybe a lot of the newest tags items in it. This is the brand, and it's inside out. How did that happen? Indigo Thread Company. Um, I don't even know where they sell this, but I have picked it up multiple times and it has sold well for me. So here we go. This one was new with tags. It's a size 3X, and it's just a boho top in this open shirt, like a cardigan kimono top almost. 
with this kind of bell sleeve and this purple crinkle fabric and it has these crochet inserts this is really cute it's a longer line has a crochet detail on the bottom hem um that is great in a perfect purple color that's super i found the exact same shirt without new with tags in same size um, but in this blue color and so here we go i just think these are really cute fun playful boho top for spring and summer upcoming so that's great i might list those as a lot um as just two together just so that if one person is looking for it they can find two at the same time okay this is the brand kittenish and it is um the first brick and mortar store for this brand was in nashville so it is just kind of a boutique -y brand and i can't think of the person who um, designs for it jamie decker maybe i think anyway I've, I've never seen it as a brand it doesn't re uh, resell for a ton but these are a really cute pair of shorts uh, cut off shorts with these heart embroidered um, details on the front and not on the back and it's a bit of a high-waisted pant and they are in a size small um, but it was new with tags so I thought these were really cute and worth picking up. This is the brand Eddie Bauer, which is sold at places like Sam's Club and Costco, but that doesn't deter me <laughs> necessarily um, because it is a main catalog brand. This is a size small, but I do think this is a really cute piece. It is a jacket, but it's more like a peacoat style, double breasted jacket in this sweater material kind of like the better sweater from patagonia and it has a little bit of gathering at the waist pockets it's super cute and looks like it's brand new it's just polyester sort of like the better sweater from um, patagonia so i was happy to grab that this is the brand lucy avenue Again, this is one of those things I don't know anything about this brand. I think I did look it up and it's just a boutique brand. But it is a um, 3XL and it's just a denim jacket. But again, a super cute piece in a plus size, which I am more than happy to pick up. Okay, this is the brand Indigo Thread again. This is in a 2X and this is a like a duster, um, almost like kimono top, cardigan-y sort of thing. It is a long line. It's a duster. It ties here at the waist. It has this really fun lace insert at the waist, and then it goes down into a duster length. Um, just a super cute toss over a tank or even over your bathing suit this summer. So I liked the color of that and went ahead and picked that up. Okay, this is the brand Real Life, and it's a size extra large. Um, it was new at Tags. I did not look this up at the bins for comps. Uh, it retailed for $40, but it's a fishing brand, and it was in a good size and a good color. I liked the print on the back. This has like um, UPF 50 plus protection, lightweight, breathable. It's the Sunray Defender series. So going to pick up a new at Tags item 99% of the time, um, sometimes even if it's like a Walmart brand. Okay, this is Mondi, M-O-N-D-I, or Mondi. It's a European size, maybe 46. I don't know, I need to look up their size chart. It's 100% virgin wool. It was made in Germany, and it is a trouser pant. <clears throat> it's not lined, um, but it is a wool trouser pant that goes down into a cuff. It's pleated front. I did look the comps up at the store on this because I was interested to see if it was worth anything. And the comps were kind of all over the place, but it did look like it had um, a bit of a resale market on it. And that might be an older piece. I'm not hundred percent sure. This was a fun find. I've never found this brand before. Uh, the brand is Max Mara. I think this is an older piece. Um, it's made in Italy. It's a wool cashmere with a little stretch, and it's a U.S. size 10. It is a pencil skirt, 
It does have belt loops, so I don't know if it originally did come with a belt. And in this, I guess, herringbone pattern plaid, it is a knee length skirt and was in nice condition. Um, the ones, and it's lined, the ones I did see for that skirt did say that they were vintage. So they may be um, an older skirt. I'm not sure how long Max Mara has been around. Okay. What is going on here? This is the brand David and Young. Don't know anything about this brand. I picked it up for style. It's just a polyester kimono top Oops. with this little bit of a crochet detail um, trim on the sleeve and in a floral with a blue pattern. Just a really cute lightweight top. Perfect for upcoming summer. Looks like it's got maybe a peony and some roses on there. Um, and some other iris, other flower lilies that I can identify. This is fun. This is just the brand Basic Editions. And it is a size large. Um, I'm just assuming that this is vintage, but that's not necessarily 100% true. Let me just button the top button here. This is just a vest that has um, Halloween pattern on the front of it. And you know, that sateen kind of satin back and ties in the back. Just a, a vest that were super popular in that 90s era. Um, and it's a holiday vest. So, you know, that fun teacher would have owned. And uh, those, I like to buy anything kind of holiday oriented, which brings me to this ugly sweater, ugly Christmas sweater. It's a size XXL and it says, uh, yo ho ho. And it's got Santa, a trendy Santa with some um, sunglasses on. And I will pick these up. Yeah, Christmas just happened, but um, I still think that that's me all list. And that way next year, someone doesn't have to buy one that is new. They can just get a pre-owned one. I actually got two ugly sweaters this day. This is the brand Joie, which I don't always pick up. Um, this is a gray tank top in a size medium. And from what I could tell, it didn't have any runs or stains on it. It's silk in this pretty gray. But it's a nice tank top with these, it's like racerback ribbed, um, like a knit combo with it. And just really pretty. I think about 80% of the time I bring home joie items from the bins. They have a run in them and therefore I don't get to list them. All right, this is a brand, I don't know. I'll need to look up the RN because it was cut through the tag here. But it's a size XL and it is a like a muscle tank, men's muscle tank with a Mickey Mouse logo, pride logo on there um, and this crisp black. So it didn't look like it had really been worn, but that's fooled me before when I get home and there's a bunch of stains on them. Um, I don't know if this is something that was homemade or if it's an actual Disney brand. I'll look up that RN number, uh, 94974, and see who that belongs to. This is fun. This is the brand Lulu's size medium, and it's new with tags. It's this floral midi dress mini dress with a deep v on the front it's long sleeved and it's like a a brocade or a tapestry almost brocade probably i guess um jackard knit it did have one little string back here i'm just gonna snip it it wasn't a uh, a flaw and it was just a really cute dress and it's new with tags so i don't necessarily do well selling that brand but again new with tags how can you how can you deny it <laughs> Okay, this is the brand Isaac Mizrahi Live, which is the QVC, your home shopping network um, line. It's a size US medium tall. It's a pair of pull-on pants in this lace overlay, and it goes down into not really a wide leg, but a straight leg with this eyelash trim at the bottom. It's scalloped. These are super cute, and I thought just a perfect 
um, pair of pants for spring that someone would really be able to, um, you know, enjoy those. Okay, this is the brand Bolera. It's a size medium adult. They make dance um, attire like leotards and dance costumes. So this is sort of twofold. So it's a like a bralette that sequin, red sequin. So this is something somebody could buy for a dance or it's something somebody could buy for the holidays or a costume. So I just went ahead and picked that up. I will pick up leotards and things like that quite often if I come across them. This is funny. So this is Trish Scully Child in a size four. I think I probably bought it just because the name Trish. <laughs> but it is a off-shoulder lace trimmed lace bodice. It's a it's like an ivory cream color, just off-white. Has this fun embroidered detail on the bottom. I just thought this was cute. If you had like a little boho wedding for your flower girl, um, not the flower girl getting married, you are having a boho wedding and this is for your flower girl or just for summer pictures or something like that. I thought it was really cute. I don't always pick up kids clothes, but sometimes I'm drawn to them. This is fun. This is called Southern Tots and it is a size 3T. But it is super cute, a uh, pair of corduroy overalls, and it has this ruffle trim, these ruffle pockets in the front, and a tie waist in the back. It's made in El Salvador, and just a really cute, fun piece with these fabric-covered buttons at the top, and I just thought that was adorable. <clears throat> okay, next up is another Lulu's dress. It's a size small. It's this red dress that is a tank style and then it has a ruffle at the bottom but a kind of a sweeping train to the side or a sweeping ruffle to the side it's a below the knee almost midi length i suppose depending on your size this would make a fun bridesmaid dress and that is just a fuzzy but a fun bri bridesmaid dress or event dress it's just really pretty it's a nice um bridesmaid dress material to it Here's the other <laughs> uh, Santa ugly sweater I got. This is the brand Jake Austin, which I don't know. Um, I think it says Jake Austin. It's a size large, but this is hilarious. It is a Santa who's winking and um, snowflakes on it, but I don't know if you can tell here, it's padded in the belly. So when you're wearing it, it gives you extra padding in the belly area, which some of us don't need. But um, And so it makes him look like he has a jolly um, belly to him. And I just think that's hilarious and cute and perfect for, of course, Christmas. This is that brand Kate and Mallory again in a size 3X. This is a open back kind of flutter sleeve with butterflies and then it has a button front detail which of course true to my fashion is not buttoned there we go and it has a tie waist and it's just along that duster with a kind of a corseted waistline um, butterflies, good keyword, it's all over graphic, and a lightweight duster in a plus size. So happy to pick that up. Now, <clears throat> I have repeatedly said that I do not like picking up loft because it just does not sell for me. I think the pieces are adorable. I love owning loft for myself. I should second that by saying that loft in size extra small, extra, extra small, petite, anything below kind of a large, extra large <laughs> is not going to sell either necessarily quickly or ever but this was one of those pieces I just could not leave behind so it's Ann Taylor Loft it's a size extra small this is the softest cutest animal print sweater it's a v-neck animal print extremely soft um some sort of leopard sn snow leopard cheetah I don't know but it's got a bit of a balloon sleeve to it a little puff at the shoulders it's stinking cute so somebody needs to own that in their life 
and I'm going to provide that for them. All right, this is the brand um, Democracy, which honestly may be sold at like Belk or um, Kohl's. It retailed for $60, $68. I don't ever pick this brand up, especially in, probably in a size small, but it was new with tags and it's a cute... There we go. It has a built-in tank top. Um, short sleeve, kind of rounded neck, embroidered front top. It's got this bit of a shark bite hem. I mean, or it kind of, you know, goes off to the sides a little bit. Scalloped hemline. Then it has this sheer panel in the back with the lining underneath. And so because, again, new with tags, willing to take a gamble. Okay. This is the brand... <clears throat> Dominique uh, Intimate Apparel, and it's a size 42, or I'm sorry, 46 double E Dominique, and it is a bustier with um, boning, underwire. This would have had straps that came with it. I feel like if you're purchasing this piece, though, for what purposes, you don't care that it doesn't have those straps. When I got my wedding dress, the first thing the bridal store did was strap me in one of these and put a big poofy skirt on me and I looked better than I've ever looked before. They knew what they were doing. So <clears throat> this is something that even if you're not having a strapless dress that you know women need to have kind of under their dresses or any kind of formal attire because it just really does suck you in in all the right places. So I actually had a formal event with my husband this spring, was looking for one of these online and I'll be able to sell this on the secondhand market for a good price for somebody. So that's great. Okay. One of my favorite brands to pick up at the bins is Talbot's. <clears throat> this is a size medium. This is a super cute cotton sweater, gray with all these fun multicolor stripes. And then it has these button detail down the side and on both sides. And I think it is 100% cotton. No. I'm sorry, not even close. Rayon nylon cotton. It feels like cotton. This is from 2018. The comps I saw for this <clears throat> were not superb, like super low. I think I can get more, but um, I just think it's a really cute sweater and I'm going to hold out for spring especially. And it's just a great lightweight sweater for someone this spring. Okay, Knox Rose, which is a Target brand, size small. This, I would, I, picking up smaller sizes, Knox Rose, not advisable. I do believe that the bigger and um, sizes like large, extra large, double XL and up, those extended sizes do much better. This retailed only for $25. I don't, but I, what do I care? It's adorable. <laughs> um, it's a long sleeve, lightweight ruffle top with these sheer panels, <clears throat> corduroy, corduroy, crochet, lace detail, some inserts here. I think this is purpley, but it might be gray. Wisteria. So it's a purpley gray. And I think this is a great boho top. It also has some fun romantic cottage core features to it. So even if it was only $25 new with tags, I still think I can resell that for maybe 15 to 18. Um, even if it is a size small. Okay. This is some one of the one of the other pieces I did not look up comps and didn't recognize the brand. Its brand was Kirsch, K-E-R-S-H, and it's a large slash extra large. <clears throat> I think you can maybe get it on Amazon. I'm not 100% sure, but it is a cream color large cowl neck sweater with this knit detail and an open knit with these sort of sides that go down. It's a bunch of mixed knit print or mixed knit going on. It's just acrylic. It's designed in Canada where I see things that aren't designed, you know, or say that they're designed in the U.S. even. Those things kind of trick your brain into thinking maybe they're a little nicer. I think this will look nice on my body form that someone will want it regardless of whether or not it's a super high-end brand. Um, I think it will photograph nicely. Okay, what are you? Okay, this is um, a free people piece. 
that I looked over like four times for holes at the bins and I just found one. So that's fun. It's free people size extra large, I mean extra small. It's this, um, see how it's got this loose knit through there. And so I thought, okay, this has to have a hole and it has to have a hole in it. It's got a little bit of a fuzzy inside there that I need to deal with, but going to have a hole, going to have a hole, going to have a hole. <clears throat> so then I'm just looking here by the tag and it has a hole. Where's the tag? I had tugged on this and I was like, did I tear it in the bin? Um, it's just right on the seam though. And I think I can just stitch it shut and um, against the seam and that it won't be that noticeable because it's kind of in a good spot. So I'll just do it. I'll take a picture and note it and somebody can tell me whether or not they're willing to still get it. But I think it's a cute piece, a nice, lighter weight sweater. This is Charter Club Woman. I think Charter Club's just a house brand at Macy's. It's a size 1X and I just kind of thought this print was fun. Um, it's a v-neck three-quarter length sleeve in this gray black and then it has this floral. I'm not doing it any justice. Uh, <laughs> floral pattern on it and in a nice wash and wear kind of fabric. So I just like that um, piece for that. So I went ahead and picked it up. This is the brand Entro or Entro. Entro is what I always say it's called. It's a size small. I just really liked this terracotta, kind of terracotta mustardy color um, top with this heavy embroidery around the neckline. It has just a bit of a bell sleeve. It's a three quarter length. The bottom is this trim, sort of a macrame style. And I think it is just polyester, no rayon, sorry. Um, this is not a brand, I think maybe sometimes it's been sold to Anthropology is what I see people putting it as. But to me, this is something I just always find at TJ Maxx or Ross. Anyway, I just thought it was cute top and I thought I would bring it home. Okay, this is the brand Victoria Beckham. It's the four Target line, so, um, but it's a size XL and it's this fun scallop top in this black color with this vibrant orange and this big ruffle at the bottom. This, you know, it's like Velma orange from Velma for Scooby-Doo, but it's a really cute kind of retro um, 60s kind of style dress. And I just think it's adorable. And it has a button back detail here. This, even if it's just Target, it's a substantial piece. It's machine washable. It had some pit stains from deodorant. Um, I found it in another bin. Someone had put it back. And I thought I could get that out. So I just threw it in the wash and it came right out. Okay. This is adorable. This is the brand Erica. It's 100% rayon. It's made in Sri Lanka. I assume it's vintage. It is a size medium, if I didn't say that already. And it is a adorable little cottage core, prairie core dress um, in this little floral pattern. And it goes down to about a knee length, depending on your height. It has these built-in ties in the front, the button, and then they tie here in the back. Definitely that like 90s. Um, this looks like a dress I would have worn to homecoming when I was in high school, uh, home, back when homecoming wasn't as formal as it is now, and just a stinking adorable dress. So I think that will do well. This is the brand Land's End, which I just pick up anytime I see it, really. This is a size 16. It's their no iron Sapima cotton shirt. And in this fun plaid color, it's short sleeved and just a button front shirt. I came across like a whole stash of Land's End, which I'm happy to pick up and they weigh nothing. So, you know, great uh, bang for your buck when you're paying a buck 49 a pound. All right, this is Land's End size medium and it is a blue and white striped shirt with these lime green, yellow embroidered dots. It is a button front shirt, front pocket, just super cute. It feels like 100% cotton. And it's 90, 
uh, six percent cotton with a little bit of stretch so anyway i just think that's an adorable shirt perfect for summer this is kim rogers which i have no idea where that's sold i maybe at macy's or a house brand at dillard's i got this because <clears throat> it's a fun fourth of july shirt for someone it's a size 2x it has this scalloped neckline to it and then it has this city beach pavilion scene with fireworks and starfish and a lighthouse so it definitely has a lot of things going for it for the fourth of july or summer um, or memorial day so i picked that up this is the brand habitat which i consider a lag and look brand this is a size large it's 100 percent um, linen and some not everything they have is linen or cotton but a lot of it is this is a floral or floral leaf print kind of um like fern palm i don't know what those are in this real textured linen a three-quarter length sleeve it has these mother of pearl like buttons and definitely lag and look summery real cute top for someone this upcoming season okay here's land's end again um uh, this is a size large which is a 14 16 and so that other 16 i saw i showed you was considered sometimes an extra large in their sizing and sometimes a large so i'll take measurements i was considering maybe bundling some of them together but this is a really um adorable striped shirt lightweight it's a popover does not button all the way down the front and in those kind of muted rainbow stripe stripes on it it's a cotton linen blend so that was fun and then which is funny i picked up the same exact shirt uh, same size and everything <clears throat> and so either someone really loved this shirt or they maybe someone did family photos in it i don't know um or someone was twin maybe they had twins and they wanted to wear these um same exact shirt so in the same condition this is the brand cynthia rowley i'm definitely when i, when I was sourcing i was excited because i got a lot of pieces for spring and summer cynthia rowley is uh, something i always see at tj maxx but it's 100 percent linen it's a size small but it's this real boxy um kind of v-neck split neck sleeveless tank top in this brown and white stripe real lightweight cute top and 100 linen so happy to pick that up this is the brand juicy couture size small it is a kind of a more boxy top with a v-neck and it has this almost sheared or ruched tie detail on the sleeve it's not really a cold shoulder it's just sort of an open open shoulder maybe and it's this <clears throat> abstract muted gray and um try to think what that other color is kind of mauvey color anyway i thought that was kind of fun this is fun because it was fabletics and it still had the tag on it it's fabletics it's a size 2x and it is this <clears throat> cream colored or super pale yellow i can't quite tell from the stock photos but it's this checkered semi sheer kind of windbreaker jacket and these were doing pretty well in the resale market and it looked to be in really nice condition i like fabletic stuff but 90 percent of the time like the leggings don't have a size on them and i don't like to deal with measuring stuff um especially pants i will guess on like a bra or a tank top or something where people um you know kind of know your fit and stretchiness but pants i don't like to guess on this is Hannah Anderson size US 14, 16 kids. And it is a hooded sweatshirt dress. Very cute. With this fun, vibrant floral, like a real simple floral pattern. And it is, it has pockets. And it's just kind of like a little shift dress. <clears throat> I did not see any stains on this. But once I get it under the light, you know kids are dirty i mean they go play outside at recess or whatnot so there's a chance this could have a mark but i wanted to chance it because i thought it was super cute this 
is the brand 41 Hawthorne, which I think is a stitch fix, stitch fix brand. It's a size medium. I just really liked the top. It has like these dried leaf, kind of like almost like a dandelion print. These three quarter length sleeves that tie at the cuff. And it's a um, split neck with this pleating down the front. And it has the pleating down the back as well. It's just a very pretty top. So I wanted to pick that up. I've talked about it in other videos um, that I like to pick up swimsuits. And it doesn't necessarily have to be a brand specific as long as I feel like it's a quality swimsuit. Obviously, some do better than others. I do not know anything about this brand, so you'll be learning about it at the same time I am. It's called Great Lengths swim and it's a size 14 but it is a really fun purple and blue um, abstract kind of patterned swim dress it has like a full skirt on it and then it has the um one piece underneath but it definitely has more coverage a little more modest for people and it has a molded cup inside. So um, I was more than happy to pick that up. This one I kind of regretted picking up. I sort of forgot it was in my cart. I just thought it was fun. It is a Victoria's Secret. I think it's even a smaller size. Let's see. Third, oh, it's a 34C, so an average size. But it's this daisy, 3D daisy. <laughs> They're like a real neon with a gem in the center. Um, and then this contrasting yellow trim it's just an underwire padded bra it gave me it just reminded me of like the 90s y2k look for bathing suits um, and so someone could pair this just with a pair of jean shorts and be you know walking around the beach and be happy so that is it that's the first part of this haul i'm super happy about some of these items that i got most are bread and butter a few new brands to me but honestly if i get them listed then i get them sold and if i can turn a dollar 49 a pound where my average cost of goods you know is going to be between 95 cents and a dollar and 25 cents sometimes i figure it out sometimes i don't but i know it's around a dollar something um, and so if I can turn a dollar into $15, to me, that's a great return for limited work. I love going to the bins. I can get a lot of inventory at the same time. I can come home, batch photograph, batch list, and do all my inventory in a pretty quick fashion. So I'm not putting a ton of energy into listing items because I have a pretty efficient system. So I feel like I'm not spending a lot of time in order to make a $15 return on an item. So that's not a business model for everyone. Some people prefer to source fewer items and at a higher price point. I don't have as high of price points available in my area um, for the type of thrift stores that I visit. I could do, you know, go do arbitrage or do um, pallets and wholesale, but that's not something I'm interested in. I do really like to go thrifting. So um, anyway, that's it. That's my haul. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. Hit that bell to be notified of future content because next week you'll be getting part two of this haul and then you'll know when it's posted. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate you. Take care.